Welcome back to Mufa Day, the only place on the internet where you can hear Moofs discussed. Today we're going to be playing Sky Fox, the 1984 video game. Uh, in this case, 1985 and 1986, because it's the Macintosh version. Apparently there's also a 1987 video game named Sky Space Fox. That's not this Sky Fox. There's also a sequel, Sky Fox 2, The Cygnus Conflict. For Commodore 64. Published in 1987. But right now, we're playing... OG Sky Fox. Uh, actually, I, th I think this is in the first version. Um, it's first published for Apple II, apparently. With ports to the ZX Spectrum. Amstrad CPC. Commodore 64 and Macintosh. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to talk over the music there, but uh, yeah, here we go. So we got tank training, one, two, plane training, one, two, three, high-low training, combo training, uh, small invasion, full invasion, massive onslaught, halo, the Alamo, advancing wall, chess, cornered, and that's it. That's our, those, those are our scenario options, that's our mission options. Start with tank training one, and then we can set our level here. Cadet, wingman, flight leader, squadron commander, ace of the base, and that's it. Uh, I think we're in cadet mode. Uh, let's see here. Wikipedia says that the player pilots the Sp Sky Fox, the most advanced attack fighter plane available to the fictional government, the Federation. So we've got radar-guided missiles, heat-seeking missiles, laser cannons, and deflection field shields. All right. And also, if you actually look for just like Sky Fox Macintosh manual, you can find uh, somebody has very kindly put up a scan of the uh, Sky Fox manual that has instructions for Apple II, uh, Commodore 64, Atari ST, Amiga, and Macintosh. It says to get started, turn on your Macintosh, insert the Sky Fox disc, press the mouse button to begin. It also supports the mouse stick from Video 7 Inc., which I have never heard of. Uh, let's see here. Play with the mouse by moves, moving uh, left and right. Uh, you can move forward and back to move the plane up and down. Press and hold the space bar to use afterburners. Press A to engage automatic autopilot. Uh, toggle the radar scanner between overhead and forward views with the tilde key. Fire laser cannons with the mouse button. Arm and disarm guided missiles with G. Arm and disarm heat-seeking missiles with H. And you also fire those with the mouse button. So, let's see here. All right. It says, when you wipe out all the enemy or when the enemy hits all your plans during training, you return to base where you can launch against more enemies or press Control r or Command-R on the Mac to return to the scenario selection screen. Okay, let's go ahead and try tank training. I think we'll just sit here until you uh, do something with the mouse. Anyway, I started blasting. I'm playing with this with a trackpad, which is probably not not how it was intended. Maybe we'll do a, bit, a little bit of this uh, tank mission and then just go into like the 
hardest mode and see what it hits us with. What do you think? Because why not, right? Also have my uh, my uh, trackpad sensitivity on like the highest setting, so that might not also be a good choice. Uh, one other thing I, I don't think it's mentioned here is you can hit C to bring this up. I think you can like toggle through some different modes there. So there's two tanks left, I think. Let's see. Oh, right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, gotta, gotta fly away. Hit the afterburners. Fly away. Turn around. There he is. Okay. There. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we got one left. Where are they? Maybe? Is that right? I can't really tell where I am in relation to that uh, other map there. Let's see. You can also hit S here to toggle between that. Let's hit A to go autopilot. Ah, there we go. That's what we needed. There they are. Oh, man! Back around. Pass, try to get him. Should he get the base? Or should he get the... There we go. Oh! Uh, I think I might have skipped the screen there. I'm not sure... What happened? Uh, let's see if we can reset and get back out of this. Go R. Command R. Uh, I don't know if that's mapped on, on MAME here. So I'm not sure the best way to get out of this is going to be. I guess we're just going to launch again. So yeah, I don't know inside MAME how you would get out of this. Because I think um, this is going to keep us going on this mission until, until we reset which I don't think I can do with the way uh, I have my keyboard map here. Let's see. Oh, it does actually talk about the tactical map here. Uh, it's just not on the uh, platform-specific instructions. Uh, it says, using the base computer's tactical map. Press C to display that map. You can get a closer view of the enemy's location and press Z for zoom. Ah, uh, the tactical map keys are C to toggle the tactical map. And you can move with uh, the cursor keys. Or uh, IJKM keys. Z to zoom in out on a sector. R to show the installation status report. S to show the overall score. Or T to re-display the map after R or S. So R, okay. S, okay. T, okay. Z, okay. Oh, no, nice. Cool. All right. Toggle Z again. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Engage autopilot. And let's see um, if we do guided missiles. Fire some guided missiles here. H. Let's do some heat-seeking missiles. I don't know if it's... Is it actually firing, firing those heat-seeking missiles? It's blasted. G. Do we have any? Oh, yeah, there it goes. All right. Let's let them loose. Hit G again. G again. Nice. Okay, that makes it easy. All right, H. That makes it quite easy. Okay. But yeah, I don't know if we can if we can actually go back 
out without uh, resetting here. Yeah, you have to press Control R or Command R to get back to the uh, scenario selection uh, screen, and I can't do that. So I think that's going to be it for the move of the day today. And I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's move of the day.